All parties in the matter of Stokes versus Garner. Step forward. Charles Stokes is suing fellow motorist, 21-year-old Cynthia Garner, for rear-ending him on the road. This accident happened when? Uh, Your Honor, it happened on August the 31st at approximately uh, 11 or 10 minutes to 11 on 2017. In the morning or in the evening? Uh, in the evening. Okay, and what you're alleging is that you were driving down the street, you were driving at a safe speed, that a child and a dog came out from... Correct, Your Honor. ...didn't see them, you slammed on your brakes, and the defendant hit you in the rear. Correct. And you want her to be responsible for the damage to your car. Correct. On August 31st of this year, did you have insurance on your car? Yes, ma'am. Who did you have insurance with? Progressive. Did you attempt to contact Progressive Insurance since the defendant hit you in the rear? I did, Your Honor. And uh, what happened with that? Progressive stated to me they felt the... You, have the, you must have a letter from them. I do not. Uh, they would not send me any correspondence. At that time, I had an attorney, and the attorney released... What did you have an attorney for? Well, I'd obtained an attorney after I initially talked with Progressive, and Progressive, they were not responding back to me in a timely manner. Well, that's a mistake. It is your contention that you were driving at a safe speed behind him and that somebody else hit you from behind and you therefore hit him? Yes. Okay. It is your contention that you were driving at a safe speed behind him and that somebody else hit you from behind and you therefore hit him? Yes. You have a police report? Yes. I'd like to see the police report. Ms. Garner, you say in your answer that a car hit you in the rear, causing you to go into the defendant. Yes. And you say that the police were there and there was glass on the ground. It doesn't say that in the police report. Glass on the ground from where the car hit you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that in the police report. That would be something that would be important because we have two different stories. We have a story of, I stopped short, the car behind me was not traveling sufficiently behind me to stop and hit me in the rear. Your defense would be a reasonable one if there was, in fact, somebody who hit you. It would be a chain reaction. But there's no evidence of that in the police report. Um, I do have a witness. My father came after I called him and after I called the police, and he saw the glass on the ground. Why don't you show me a picture of the rear end of your car, where it was hit? I can't see anything here. I have a better picture on my phone if you would like to see. I would. What are you showing me, the tear in here? The tail, and then the second picture is one of the bumper where the car scratched my bumper at it. Okay, I'd like to see the back end of your car. Okay. Just the back end. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to see. I want to see the back end of your car. I mean, the damage to the back end of your car, whatever it is, it looks like a scratch. Mm -hmm. The scratch is consistent with being tapped on the back. This threw his whole car out of whack. That would be consistent with a heavy jolt. So if you came to a complete stop, how do you jolt into his car like this? 